Okay, so hello guys, my name is Didier. Um, I'm gonna talk a little bit about Nicaragua, Nicaragua cigar, and especially about Nicaragua Exclusivo tonight. Um, this cigar actually has two specificities. First, the Maduro, Maduro wrapper. This is a true natural Maduro wrapper. The Maduro wrappers, normally we do them, the vast, the vast majority of the Maduro wrapper that we can find in the industry are cooked. What, is, what do I mean by cooking? Is that you leave the fermentation going very, very high in temperature and very, very quick, very quick fermentation, very high in temperature. And um, it's very dynamic. Uh, we reach three, three results with this. Is that we have, we have good dark colors, we have very good burning, but we are destroying the aromas. If you want to have a, a natural Maduro wrapper with full of, with, with tons of aromas, what we have to do is we have to pick very high primings, very thick leaves, and ferment them very slowly. And this is what we're doing with, with Nicaragua Exclusivo. We, we take very thick wrappers, so very difficult to ferment. We ferment them very slowly over a period of 20 to 24 months. It's very rare, it's very, very unique. Normally, the, the normal wrappers, they are fermented around, around seven months. Um, cooked Maduro wrappers is much, much shorter. But here we do, we, we really take the time to treat the, the leaf like it has to be treated and to do that very, very slowly over, over a very long period of 20 to 24 months. The result is that we have very nice dark colors, uh, great, great ashes, and, and, and a very nice, very nice aromaticity. This is the first specificity of the Nicaragua Exclusivo. The second specificity is that inside the, the no leaf is younger than the five to six years old. In a, what I call a market standard uh, cigar, the five categories of leaf they range between one and a half years old to four and a half years old. Here we have a cigar that is, is rolled with very, very aged um, uh, raw material. And the youngest, the youngest leaf is about, is about five, five years old. So those are the two specificities of the cigar that makes it very, very unique, um, theoretically, but also in the mouth, in the, 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 the complexity, the richness of aroma that we can, we can, we can find in, in, in the taste. So in the mouth, this cigar, in terms of strength, in production, we classify the strengths, we rate the strengths from zero to 10. This, this Nicolas Cruzivo is about a seven and a half, so it's really a mil medium to full body not too strong, not too mild, really in between. Uh, nice strengths and nice balance. Strengths, aroma, um, uh, taste, and really round cigar. Very, very nice balance with, with very specific uh, aromas. And um, yes, what, what I like to say, because we, um, I'm, I'm working with uh, AJ Fernandez, and uh, when we blend cigars, we like to do, we like to do, uh, Cigars that has person that have personality and balance. Those those I think is two two very nice terms to, to define our cigars: personality and balance. And this is what we can find here in this, in this cigar. Um, something I was I was mentioning is that and what I like to say: this is a very unique and specific cigar. It's balanced, like what, what I said, but somehow unstable. And this is not negative to say that it's very, it's very, it's very, uh, it's very specific. Uh, unstable why? Because if we rush the tasting, we're gonna lose it. It's not gonna deliver what it's supposed to deliver. If we take an axis of, of the time, the time of the, the tasting and the temperature, we have when it slips. For instance, I take a puff. So I have my true speed temperature, and when I take a puff, the temperature is going high, and then it's slowly coming down to the true speed temperature. This curve of going back down to the true speed temperature depends on the cigar, depends on the leaves, depends on the smoker, depends on the conditions. Uh, but we have to understand that because if we if we take a second puff before that the, the, the cigar reaches that true speed temperature. Take another puff, and another puff, and another puff, and then if we look at the trend of the cruise peak temperature, it's going to go up, and not, it's not going to be stable. It's 
going to go up. And eventually, we're going to touch a limit of temperature that this temperature, when you take a puff, is going higher and too high. Because when we when we burn the cigar, when we burn the leaves with a very high temperature, we, we might we might lose the aroma. So we have to respect the cigar. We have to understand the cigar. So it can, it can deliver the whole the whole aromaticity that it has to deliver. An analogy that I like to do to explain that is that if we have to go up a mountain uh, with two sports cars, we take a very nice OD. We take it, we go for it, and we go, wah, 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 wah. We, go, we go we go up to the top. After we come we come back down, we do the same thing with the, with the Ferrari. If we drive the Ferrari the same way we, 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 we drove the Audi, we're going to break the car or we're going to kill ourselves. Why? Because Ferrari is, is not as good as Audi? No. Because we have to understand the technology of the car. We have to understand the car. We have to feel the car. And we don't have... To ask the car to adapt to ourselves is the way wrong. We have to adapt to the car. It's like with cigars. We have to try to understand the cigar and adapt to the cigar and smoke it peacefully so the cigar can deliver what it has to deliver. So this is nice an analogy that I will kind of use to explain um, how I really enjoy tasting Nicaragua's Cusivo cigars because it's it's very specific, very unique, and if we can put the cigar in the right condition, it's going to deliver great, great, great feelings, and we're going to enjoy the moment. My name is Didier, and you've been watching Gypsy Cigar Review.